I have never heard of Josie doing anything to harm Timmy. Oh, don't you remember? The school authorities uh, up at the boarding school said that Josie came up there, introduced herself as Timmy's mother, and subjected him to moments of terror and panic. That's not true. Timmy has never indicated to me in any way that he was that terrified of his... of that other personality. Well, oh, doesn't it stand to reason? There's an eight-year-old boy. He's introduced to somebody who presents themselves as his Aunt Josie, and then he finds out it's really his mother. Yes, yes, it certainly stands to reason, and that's why I am so very glad that the Josie part of me is gone. What do you remember of those court proceedings? Too much. Was it your opinion that the judge, in all likelihood, would have ruled against you? Yes, that was my opinion. Is that why you rushed from the judge's chambers, because you couldn't bear to lose your son? Yes, yes. What happened after? Where'd you go? I don't remember. But you do remember leaving the judge's chambers? Yes. I remember. Um, were hardly able to see the door. Blank. A blank? Or a blackout? Blackout. Just the way it's been all my life. I lose control. So. Oh, I see. So you figured Josie took over. Josie went to Gerald Kincaid's apartment, right? Josie found Gerald Kincaid's gun. Then Josie went back to the courthouse and on the steps of the courthouse shot Mark Faraday. Josie, not me. No, you wouldn't do anything like that. No, never. What's the next thing that happened? Uh, uh, police surrounding me, telling me about what she did. She. Josie. She, Josie. And that's the last blackout that you remember? Yes. No repetition of that at all? Yes. That's no. why you say that Josie's gone, is that right? Yes, that is. And you are now in complete control of your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit. Yes, yes. And that incident, the uh, killing of Mark Faraday, that was the last action by Josie to your knowledge? Yes, that's the right. The whole thing was a comparison. Well, yes, maybe, and perhaps it was also the result of the, the work with Dr. Henderson. Oh, I see. Dr. Henderson affected a cure. Yes. I think... Along with the help of all my wonderful friends. My car, Nancy Carr. You, Adam. All the people who helped me get rid of the demon inside me. Is the little devil gone? Oh, yes. Completely gone. You're under oath. What do you mean? I said, remember, you're under oath to and tell I the said, truth. what do you mean by that? I'm saying that you were brought to this stand as Mrs. Serena Faraday, but you are obliged to tell the truth, no matter whom you consider yourself to be. I do not understand you. I'm asking you a direct question. I expect to receive a direct and simple reply. Who are you? Are you Josie? Right now? Answer the question. Are you Josie right now? Of course not. That's a ridiculous Did question. Did you tell me that Serena Faraday was submerged totally on 1 December 1975 when Josie shot and killed Mark Faraday? Silence. Please. Mr. Drake, I hope you realize that you are now treating your own defendant as a hostile witness. Yes, Your Honor, I realize that. I would very much like to know how the prosecution feels about this bizarre proceeding. Uh, the prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Well, I'm not at all sure that the court doesn't. Your Honor, I beg the court's indulgence. No, 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 no. You, you can't let him go on asking me questions like that, Judge. It's not fair. He's supposed to be my lawyer. Mrs. Faraday, both attorneys are entitled to ask any question that will help elicit the truth. But that isn't the truth. Is that that's a terrible, terrible lie. Well, can't I you think understand? Why would I say you. something like... Proceed, Mr. Thank Drake. No. No, I, I won't answer any more questions. I will not answer another question. You will be held in contempt of court if you don't. I'll plead the Fifth Amendment. May I remind you, Mrs. Faraday, that you took the witness stand voluntarily. Let me ask you a question about your hair. What? I said, let me ask you a question about your hair. What about my hair? A couple of days ago, that car came over to visit you. You were cutting your hair, wasn't you? Yes. And you cut a good deal off, right? 
Bob says I don't have to answer silly questions. Well, I don't isn't have to it strange that your hair is no shorter now than it was the day before you yes, cut please, it? Please, I don't have to answer any more stupid questions. Answer the question, Mrs. Faraday. All right. continue to fund such programs as Medicare and Medicaid and survive. Find out on medicine and money at ABC News Close Up tomorrow at 10, 9 central on ABC. Good night.